Welcome back to CBS This Morning. We have some historic breaking news at this hour. NASA has just achieved a liftoff on Mars unlike any other in history. So take a look at this. It's a little bit hard to see. But that right there is a robot called Ungenuity taking its first flight on Mars. That small flight is, in fact, a giant leap for humanity because it is the first controlled aircraft flight ever under its own power to fly on another planet. Think about that. Jonathan Vigliotti is at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Jonathan, good morning to you. It was only 120 years ago that we had our first flight period on any planet. Now we're on another one. Pretty amazing achievement. What's NASA doing to celebrate? <laughs> Yeah, Tony, what's 120 years? A massive celebration inside Mission Control, as you can imagine, behind me this morning. Engineers celebrating the seemingly impossible. They had to create a robot that was self-flying and self-powered with an engine five times faster than any helicopter here on Earth. And all of that technology had to fit into a container, get this, the size of a tissue box. This test flight only lasted a few seconds, but a major victory this morning for NASA. At just about 19 inches tall and four pounds, NASA's Ingenuity helicopter is tiny in size, but its impact could be monumental. We could use it to do reconnaissance and scope out uh, where the path we'd like to take with a rover, or if we're sending humans to Mars, helping the humans in their activities. So there's really an enormous amount of potential uh, for this capability. Lori Glaze is director of NASA's Planetary Science Division. NASA researchers spent six years perfecting how to get this self-flying device to climb about 10 feet above the surface of Mars, hover in place for 30 seconds, then rotate before gently making its landing. It's a challenging mission, especially on Mars, where the air is so thin, Glaze says it's the equivalent of flying at an altitude of 100,000 feet on Earth. It's almost three times as high as a commercial aircraft flies. We don't fly up there. There's not enough air to give you lift under the wings. And so trying to get your helicopter to fly in that environment is really, really hard. It's so hard that Ingenuity's maiden flight was actually delayed earlier this month after a software glitch during a pre-flight test. Since then, the device has passed several tests, including a critical spin check of its four rotors last week. Shoot the ploy. The nearly $85 million helicopter arrived on Mars in February. About 20 meters off the surface. Attached to the belly of NASA's Perseverance rover. Touchdown confirmed. I truly fundamentally believe that ingenuity alone, you know, can't make things happen. You really need ingenuity plus that perseverance, the very hard work to make, you know, a great idea a reality. Mimi Ong is the project manager for ingenuity. Ingenuity is up in the air. You're looking on. What's going on in your mind? I think I'll probably celebrate for the first time then. I think that we did it. You know, we did it. I think all those hours, all those weekends, and I mean, just months of testing and designing different phases, I think this is what drove us. It's our dream come true. And Mimi had her fists up in the air in that control room as she was waiting for that data to come back. History made 170 million miles away, and people in this neighborhood came out to shout in celebration. Ingenuity will have longer flights over the coming weeks. All of this as NASA continues their search for signs of life on Mars. Gail, again, the size of a tissue box. I know. Pretty it amazing. struck me when you said that, Jonathan. Thank you. Good to see you. It's <laughs> Good to see you. It's 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 really fascinating when it's it's really good to hear rather when all your hard work pays off. When she says working all those weekends, working all those late nights, and then it goes. What the an way extraordinary you achievement! Yeah. I mean, thank you. you. you th what an extraordinary achievement that they've right. done it a I, world away. I I you know you worry it's a little teeny video, it's a little yes. grainy, it's hard yep. to see. It is a very big deal, and I'm so, glad to hear that people in that neighborhood there in Pasadena, California, actually came out and cheered yeah. uh, while Jonathan was there in the dark in the early hours in California. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you pointed it out because I'm looking at this being like, what? Where is it? I know. Where is it? Nicely done, NASA. Nicely done.